Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this M440i X Drive convertible. This car's finished off in mineral white metallic and is a brand new unregistered vehicle. This is obviously the latest G23 variant of the 4 Series convertible. So lots to talk about and some lovely options selected on this particular model. Being the M Performance variant, we've got these Syrian grey accents there on that front kidney grille on that side air vent to start with. Obviously they're the dedicated design elements to the M Performance range. That's a fantastic new imposing front design elements on the 4 Series. And I really do like the Syrian grey accents on the grille, really just set that off very nicely. Moving on to the headlights, we've got the full BMW laser light system in this car. You can see it with the, those blue design elements as well in there. Obviously that's when the main beam can switch to the full laser light functionality. It is a full adaptive system as well, so that will bend and twist based on the steering wheel inputs to help brighten up the road ahead. Moving on to the wheels, we've got the 19 inch, it's a 792 M double spoke alloy wheel. Yet again finished off in the Sioux and grey accents. God, it does have this diamond cut front face as well, so you do have this diamond cut section in the outer outer section of the rim, and also that serum grey inlay there. We've also got the red brake calipers, something that you were seeing on some of the latest generation BMWs. And there's other options for the blue brake caliper as well, if you so wish. Moving around, the M designation there, that's also finished off in that serum grey accent, as well as those mirror caps. Some of the big talking points is we've now got a fabric folding roof on this latest generation 4 series. I do have a separate video which I'll link going over some of the new elements on the G23. So today we'll just concentrate on the specification of this car. The steering grey accents finished on the rear, on the exhaust pipes there at the lower section, and on the X Drive and the M440i badging as well. All finished off in that steel grey. Into the boot, this car does have comfort access, so you can access this boot just by waving your foot underneath the rear, and I've just opened it there via the key as well. Going in, let me just fold that out of the way. Nice deep boot. We do have that through low capability. That's actually the wind deflector there at present. That can be moved out of the way for a bit of through low capability. And obviously lifting that load cover up there to give you more boot space. And obviously drop it down for when you have the roof down. As I mentioned, this car does have comfort access, so a very easy entry point to get into the boot and also get into the vehicle. So a few different ways to this for this to work this option. The way I like the most is the latest system, so from three meters away, the car will recognize you. Put on some welcome lights, then from about a meter away, the car will fully unlock, so as you approach the vehicle, very easy just to get in and out of the car. Just open it. Moving inside, we've got the black Manaska leather, that lovely grey contrast stitch you can see there on these M Sport seats. Going into the rear. I've got the wind deflector in place at present. Plus, you can see the details yet again with the rear of the car as well. Also, have that M stitching on the seat belts, which is standard on the M Performance car. Rear passengers do have their own ventilation controls, so a full free zone there in the middle. Two zone in the front and a single zone in the rear. As you can see from the seat moving backwards and forwards as I lift it up, full electric memory seats as standard in the G23. This car also has the fantastic Harman Kardon hi fi system. That's that multi speaker Dolby 7. Sounds on hi fi with full built in equalizers. You can really customize and set the sound up for your tastes and your music. Right, stepping into the car. Now with the other variants of the new 4 Series, we've got the latest BMW Live Cop Professional ahead of us. So that's the full digital dashboard there when I start the car up. It just burst into life. That's very configurable. You get a set of information that you want to see, that's relevant to you. I'm not sure this car does have, which sort of trumps that to an extent, is the head-up display as well. So there we can see ahead of us, we've got the speed and the speed limit display listed. So Head up display gives information on the windscreen as and when the car deems it necessary and needs to. So obviously speed is always there and speed limit. 
and then incoming call alert, things like that, that'll be projected on the windscreen, turn by turn navigational information, things like that. So your eyes are focused on the road, looking ahead, not distracted by some of the, any of the other systems. So much safer and a lot less tiring, not having to sort of eyes having to readjust to different screens, to just focus on what's going on ahead. Also that speed limit display, fantastic feature. Also that uses the navigational system as a as a base to let you know what the current speed limit of the road is. And there's also a camera in the rear view mirror, so it can override that in case there's been any road work, so the speed limit change for that reason. And it can update it to keep you all safe and legal. Moving on to the central screen, we've got the latest BMW OS 7 operating system. I have these different pages of information which you can customise and set up. You can display the information that you want to see. That's relevant to you. You can see it's full touch screen that I'm using there. Fantastic, I think, from a standstill point of view, but I still love using the iDrive dial whilst driving. Very tactile system to use. We've also got the fabulous BMW um, voice activation system. So you can just talk to the car very naturally and get it to do face different bits of actions, commands, phoning people, navigational information, things like that. Moving on down, we've got the dual zone climate control. Uh, the front, I've said it's a, it's a zone in the rear as well, so full free zone in the four-series convertible. Got the freeway heated front seats here for both front passengers. That's all standard, the like four-series. Favourite buttons there, the one to eight, along with the media controls. Also well, got the beautiful fabric trim as well. It's almost like an aluminium mesh with a high gloss finish. This camera probably won't pick it up and do it justice, to be brutally honest with you. But that isn't a bad view right there. So with a high gloss finish to it and real lots of real nice detail. Underneath the soft clothes there, we've got the wireless charging pad as one of the options selected here. It's also got the enhanced Bluetooth functionality as well. It's got an additional USB port and 12 volt socket there for charging devices. Moving on back, we've got the fabulous 8-speed gearbox, also linked with the beautiful B58, that turbocharged inline 6-cylinder petrol engine, 374 brake horsepower, 500 meters of torque, not 1605 seconds, and see with the top down makes some beautiful noises, it really enhances the top down driving experience. This car's also got the heated element in the rear, so the, the um, just scroll around. So the air blowers, I mean, we call it the warm air, air collar. As I pan around, there we can see there. So blows, lovely warm air to the back of your neck. So when you have the top down, it's a bit chilly. You can have the heated seats on, warm air. And this also has the heated steering wheel option as well. So it keeps you very comfortable whilst driving with the top down when it's a bit colder. There's all different driving modes. Full adaptive functionality as well. This vehicle, the end performance model that is standard. Scrolling back up, we've also got the Park Assistant Plus functionality. So that's a full surround view there. It's not very clear on my camera today, I do apologise, but there we go, it's a bit better. So we've got this overhead bird's eye view there on the right and the left. That camera sort of zooms to different points of the vehicle based on what's close, what it needs to. We've also got this fantastic 3D view, uh, car wash view as well, so you can see where the wheels are going along with a 3D view where you can choose different areas of the car you can zoom around and see what's going on that also has the drive recorder built in as well so that's using the 360 degree cameras as a dash cam so no need for any additional cameras or wiring into the vehicle there's a heat steering wheel option as I mentioned which is a fantastic feature in the convertible Along with those warm air collar. Another feature in this vehicle also is the drive assistance professional. So we've got full adaptive cruise control here, um, full lane assistance as well, so it'll help you keep you in lane. Uh, we do have blind spot detection in the wing mirrors as well as it will help you stop you from sort of veering into lanes and trying to cross lanes when there's a car in your blind spot. So as long as there's a visual indication, there is some sort of semi-autonomous functionality to the steering wheel as well to look after you. Not autonomy in any sort of stretch motion, don't never take your hands off the steering wheel, but certainly assistance to look after you whilst you're driving the vehicle. Well, it's got the high beam assistance there, as mentioned, with the full adaptive headlights, uh, laser lights in this vehicle. And the high beam assistance, that's where it ultimately dips and ra raises the high beam based on traffic around you. Can't you put blocks of light around the vehicles as well to look after you? 
and not blind other vehicles. Obviously, we'll get the roof down now. Obviously, people having comfort access as well. That can be operated via the key. Obviously, that's what convertible is all about. 18 seconds for the roof to fall down. It can actually be done whilst moving along up to speeds of 80 miles an hour. Very slick system. Of course, you do have the wind deflector in the back there as well. So, if there's only two in the car, this can help a lot of the buffeting and noise created by having the roof down just to further enhance the driving experience. I hope this video has been of use. If you need any further information, please do get in contact. And one of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.